Welcome grade 12 to the circular flow model. All right, this is part one of the circular flow model. If we were looking at only two participants in the economy, if we were looking at households and businesses, for example, that would be a two sector model. But if we then add the government, then we've got a three sector model. But this is still a closed economy because we do not have uh, the foreign sector. So let's add the foreign sector on the next slide. If we add the foreign sector, now the economy is open because we are trading with the rest of the world. So there are exports and imports uh, that happen in the foreign sector. Now we've got an open economy with one, two, three, four participants. So whenever we've got four participants, we have a four sector economy and that economy is open. All right. So Looking at the other three participants, the households, they own the factors of production, uh, the businesses, they supply the goods and services to households, the government provides goods and services to households and businesses. And of course, in the foreign sector, we've got exports and imports. So in addition to these participants, we have three markets also in the economy or in the circular flow. Uh, the first one being the product market. The product market is the market for goods and services. So this is the market where goods and services are traded. The financial market uh, is the second type of market and it is divided into money and capital. And the difference between the money market and the capital market is that the money market is for short term financial instruments, short term financial instruments such as short-term loans, and the capital market, on the other hand, is for long-term financial instruments, such as uh, shares. All right, and then we've got the factor market, and the factor market is the market where the factors of production, so the four factors of production, are traded. If you forgot, remember the four factors of production are labor, capital, entrepreneurship and natural resources so the four factors of production are traded in the factor market all right so let's move on to the next slide okay we also need to understand the difference between a real flow money flow the real flow refers to three things that are flowing in the economy. Goods, services, and the factors of production. We just looked at the four factors of production. So if goods, services, and the factors of production are flowing in the economy, that is a real flow. And the real flow is indicated with a solid line. So whenever goods, services, and factors of production are flowing in the economy, we've got a real flow indicated by a solid line on the circular flow diagram but if money is flowing in the economy remember money can flow as income or expenditure but whenever money is flowing in the economy then we've got a money flow uh, and the money flow is indicated by the dotted line as you can see there all right so let's go to the circular flow diagram so we can see this in practice okay so here we're going to look at a few examples of interactions between the participants and the markets or between the participants themselves. Okay, so let's uh, just look at a couple of examples. So between households and businesses, we've got the factor market. So what households do, remember we said the households, they own the factors of production. They own the four factors of production. So they will sell those factors of production uh, in the factor market, right? So they sell the factors of production. And remember, factors of production are part of the real flow. So this is why we indicate the selling of production. Uh, so the, the selling of the factors of production as a solid line. And the businesses will buy those factors of production. Okay, so that's the real flow. The uh, factors of production, they go from households to businesses via the factor market. And in return, remember now the businesses will pay for those factors of production. And this is now the money flow as indicated by the dotted line. 
that payment from businesses will go to households as wages, sorry, wages and salaries or salaries, I should say. So businesses pay for the factors of production. The households receive wages or salaries uh, as part of those factors of production. All right, so let's look at another interaction between government and households. So uh, what is the real flow? The government provides us with public goods and services. So the government gives us as uh, people in households goods and services. All right, so uh, goods and services such as water and electricity, for example. And in return, there will be a money flow from the households to the government. We pay taxes. And that's a money flow because taxes are money. Let's look at another example. What is the interaction between the households and the product market? Uh, of course, the real flow is that goods, this is where we get our goods and services from. We buy goods and services from the product market. And in return, we need to pay for goods and services. So we're not going to get them for free. We need to pay for those goods and services. And that will be the money flow. And um, if we look at how the foreign sector interacts with the product market, if goods come to the uh, product market from other countries, from the foreign sector, those are imports. That will be uh, the import of goods and services from the foreign sector to the product market. And of course, uh, there has to be a payment for the imports from other countries. And then finally, we're going to look at an example of an interaction between businesses and the financial market. If you look at this interaction, you'll notice that there's no real flow. Remember, financial markets or financial institutions such as banks, they only deal with money. So there's only money flow. So between businesses and financial and the financial market, businesses will get loans. And in return, business will save their money at those financial institutions. Uh, the interaction, if we are looking at households in the financial market, would exactly be the same. We get loans from the financial institutions and then we save our money at those financial institutions. So these are just uh, some of the examples of interactions in the circular flow diagram. All right, uh, look out for part two of this video. Thank you.